All right, guys, so now that we have our database created using phpMyAdmin and we have added some data in there, we're going to go ahead and get started with our database project for this class. So the first thing we are going to start doing is we're going to set up the structure. You know, setting up the structure is going to be very important, uh, regardless of any size project, so that you could scale it to be bigger and so it's just easier to work with. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a new folder. So again, uh, let's go ahead and make a separate folder or separate files. I keep mine in weeks like I previously mentioned. So I'm going to go to week 11, enter the databases, and I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name it database. Database. There we go. Right, and this is where we're going to store all the files and the file structure that we're going to upload to uh, our web server using FileZilla. So once I've created this folder database, now I can open up Atom, and you could do it through the you could create the folders through um, the Windows Windows um, Explorer or Navigator, uh, but I'm going to do it through Atom. So I'm going to go File add open folder right and I'm gonna look for that I go to my weeks week 11 I'm gonna click on my database folder that I created right so now I have this database folder inside Adam and inside this folder for every project we always have a CSS folder right so we're gonna create a CSS folder all right we also have a templates folder. So right click, new folder. Oh, I'm inside CSS. So we don't want it inside the CSS folder. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click on my database folder again. And I click, right click, new folder. We have our templates folder. I didn't hit enter, my bad templates there we go so CSS templates and for this project we're going to create an additional folder called I'm just going to call it data and I don't want it inside my templates folder data there we go so when we open this we have this nice structure CSS folder data folder and templates folder Next, we're obviously going to create an index file, right? So we're going to go index.php. Hit enter. So now we have an index file. That's going to be our home page. So when we go to databases folder, that's going to be the file that's going to come up. And we are also going to create a read file, read.html. The information that's going to go into this read file is going to be the code for when we want to read uh, info or retrieve info from our database that we just created. And it actually needs to be PHP. Just like we're going to read, we also want to create a create file. Right. So we're going to create a new file called create.php. And we're going to be using this file for when we want to create a new entry into a database. So that's where we'll be adding all our code. And we are also going to need a config file or a configuration file. So we're going to call it config.php. We use this file to, that's where we're going to store all our database information. So the database name, database user, password. So rather than including the database um, connection information in each file, like we talked about, we don't want to create a lot of redundancy. What happens if we change the password to the database? We don't want to go back and change every file and change the password through every file, right? We just want to have one file that has all that information. If something changes, if we change the database name, if we change the password, we just go to our configuration file and we update it there. 
and it changes it all through throughout the system. So our configuration file, we're also going to have a file called common common.php. We're going to use this file to store just functions that we just want to access all the time. So common functions that we just want to have access to. Right? So we have common config create. We have our index. We have our read file. And we'll start off with those. Later on we might want to make updates or changes to the database, but this will do it for now. All right, so we have our files also like we noticed in our last module, we have our templates. So we're gonna open up our templates folder. And you know what, I think I added those files inside my templates folder. No. So we're gonna right click inside on the templates folder and we're gonna add a couple files inside templates. All right, so guess what those files are gonna be? You guessed it, it's going to be header.php. We learned this in the last, the last module. We don't want to be recreating the header again and again. So we're going to create a header.php file. All right, and let me double check. Yes, yeah, so you notice it's indented inside the templates folder. So right click, new file, and we're going to create a footer.php file. Right, so when we're working with our index, we're gonna be able to just call in the footer and the header. And let's go ahead and start with our index file. So this is gonna be a simple, simple database. So for right now, we're just gonna do something simple for the index and we're gonna do PHP include templates header.php all right so we know we're going to bring in our header and then we're going to add css and some styling to this later but for now we're just going to have an unordered list all right and inside this unordered list we are just going to have a few list items li and the first one is going to be a link to our create file for when we want to create or add a user. So we're going to go link, hyperlink, reference, and this is going to go to create.php. And we're going to call this create add a user. All right, we're gonna add a few more. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So the next one, we're gonna make a link to our read file. And this file, we're gonna use this link for when we wanna find a user. When we wanna find a user from our database. Lastly, we'll make one to our update file. And we're going to call this update. Edit a user. And lastly, one to our delete file and we're going to call this delete remove a user and I actually think we didn't create a delete file yet but it's fine we're going to do that later Order list we save that and we preview there it is it's just four simple links and they're going to link to our PHP files and 
it's not going to render our PHP until we upload it to a server. And lastly, on this index file, we need to bring in the header. So PHP include the footer, my bad. Templates footer.php. All right. And I need a question mark there. And before I forget, I'm really bad with these semicolons. We need a semicolon after each statement. So outside the quotations, we need a semicolon there and also in our include statement for our header. All right. So our index file should look, we're going to have an include file, include statement for our header.php, our an ordered list with four links, and then our another include, include file for our footer. All right, we're going to save it. And now let's take care of our header. So we're going to open up our templates folder, header. And in this file, we're just going to have our initial HTML uh, document formatting. And if you have Emmet, let me see, it's not going to do it because we're in HTML. But what I'm going to do to just save time is I'm going to go add a new file. I don't want it inside templates. And new file. I'm just going to call it test.html. If you guys notice, once you give a, a file an extension, then Adam will know what code you're using and it'll give you the, the shortcuts and the highlighting. So if you have Emmet installed, you could just type an exclamation point, hit tab, and it'll give you your document framework for a basic HTML file. And if you just have Atom, if you just go HTML and hit tab, oh, I'm using Emmet, so that's not gonna work. HTML and hit enter, it'll give you the same thing as well. So I'm going to use the Emmet one just because it has a few more things. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all the way up to the body and I'm going to copy the initial code. So I'm going to put that and copy it into my header. Right. So this is just our starting HTML document, language English, uh, character set UTF-8, the viewport initial scale one, write our title. We're going to call this simple database and you could put your name on it and inside the body we'll just give it an h1 for now we'll change this later but simple database h1 All right we're going to save that and that should conclude our header we're going to open up our footer file and inside our footer, we're just going to go back and we're going to copy the closing tag for body and the closing tag for HTML. You could type them in or copy them. All right. So that's all we need for our footer. All right. So we're going to close this test file. And actually, now once you could delete that test file as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it, move it to trash. And lastly, I already have it created on mine, but if you don't have a styles.css created, go ahead and create a new file. Uh, let me remove mine and I'll show you guys. So inside styles, we're going to have a new file and we're just going to call it styles.css. Right. And right now we're just going to leave it blank. But since we're working on the header, we'll go ahead and link to that styles.css for now. So under title in header.php, we're going to add a link relationship style sheet. And it's going to be hyperlink reference in our folder CSS, styles.css. All right, so that way our header is already linking to our CSS. And that should be it. So header is good. Index file is good. 
we have our footer. Our styles is empty for right now, which is fine. So now you should have your database folder. Inside the database folder, we're going to have a CSS folder with a styles.css, and that one's empty. A data folder with nothing in it still. A template templates folder with your footer, which should have the closing um, HTML and body tag. And a header, which will have the opening code for an HTML file. And our index file, index.php, which is going to include uh, the header, include the footer, and have those four simple links. To submit this event, this file, you're going to want to take a screenshot of this right here with the files opened up. That way I know you created them. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and upload this to our server. So in FileZilla, once you connect, we're going to look for our new folder. Enter the databases. We have our database folder here. And I'm just going to go ahead and upload it to our server and I'm just going to make sure that at least our index is working. So it's uploading. Perfect, it's done. And we're going to open up a new browser here. And we're going to go to our domain name, folder database, and Let's see what we have. Hopefully we linked everything correctly and perfect. We have our H1 simple database and we have our four users. So we know our header is working and we're going to be working with these files on the next module.